So over here, you can see that I got Microsoft Paint opened up and I have a bunch of random shapes here in the canvas. So if I want to see the properties of this particular file, then I can go to file and then what I can do is I can go to properties. Once I open up properties, you can see that I can work around with different attributes like pixel, centimeter and inches. So here you can see that the default within height is 453 by 378. I can click on default and press OK and it resizes that out. If I were to go around into properties, let's say I want around 400 to high of 400 and press OK, you can see that it resizes out accordingly. You can also go around over here on the view and if I were to turn on the ruler, the value that you see here is pixels. So if I were to go to file and properties and change it to centimeter, now you can see that this is in centimeter value. You can go to properties and you can also see that the within height is now in centimeter value. You can go to inches and now it gets converted into inches accordingly. So by default, you can see that uh, this is in color value. But if I were to change this to black and white and press OK, it says converting to black and white cannot be undone because this it really affects the data that you have right here. And now you can see everything is in black and white. You can go to properties, convert it back to color. And now what you can do is you can add color things again. Let me just go around into properties, convert to black and white, press OK. Now you can see that everything is in black and white. You got dotted lines right here, which you can add in. And there's a bunch of objects, which is in grayscale, as you can see right here. So it's totally black and white. So if I were to actually zoom it in, you can see that these little gray things are perfect black and white. There is no gray or there is no uh, like a transparency or so forth. It's perfectly black and white and it simulates gray by adding in a bunch of dots onto the colors right here. If you were to go over here onto colors and so forth, you can see that it simply uses a bunch of grayscale color and it seems gray because there's a bunch of dots there. So you can go back and if you were to go around into color and press OK, then you can see that now it's back to color. And that is how you can work around with the properties of Microsoft Paint. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.